I made a video a few days ago regarding the Dalai Lama uh, publicly asking a young boy to suck his tongue. And of course, as usual, many of my decent uh, viewers and subscribers, they all agreed with me. It was wrong, it was perverse, it was disgusting, and the Dalai Lama is clearly a nonce. And a nonce who got away with it because the Western media didn't report on this until days after the rest of the world did, and I don't know why. But they emphasised on the fact that the Dalai Lama merely apologised afterwards and there's nothing really to see here, and that was it. Well, there's more to it, because a guy who does that to an innocent little child in full view of millions on telly and people stood around him or sat around him at the time, if he does that there, what does he do behind closed doors um, in his residence where he lives? And he doesn't live in Tibet anymore, does he? I think he lives in Pakistan or India, somewhere like that. Anyway, correct me in the comments. Now, what astonished me about my video was a few people in the comment section because they thought I was being rather unfair in calling the Dalai Lama doing nonsy stuff a nonce. And all these comments who supported the Dalai Lama and lambasted me, they, they implored me, they said, please watch the full video before making a judgment on the man. Now, I don't understand this because the video of the Dalai Lama doing what he did could be hours or days or minutes long, as long as he has this bit of him in it where he does his, well, he attempts uh, this depraved act of perversion on an innocent human being, he's still going to get the same reaction. A nonce is a nonce, because he's done noncey things. And it's not going to change my perception at all. He could be sat there, I mean, if... What difference does it make? The guy is sat there preaching, making a speech, whatever. And regardless of where this happens, it is still a pervert in my eyes. Now, of course, if the full video was of him just making a speech and not doing what he did to this innocent little boy, then I wouldn't regard him as a pervert, would I? Or is the full video where him and the boy have a laugh at the end and say, ha ha, got you, April Fools, and the lad is actually... Um, a mature person with a, a, a growth disability or something. I don't know. And it's all just one big funny gag. But of course it isn't. I don't need to see the full video of whatever the Dalai Lama uh, was doing at an event or whatever. Because this a couple of seconds long incident, what he did, his actions, has already made me judge him. I don't need to see the full video. I am convinced the Dalai Lama is a dirty Lama. He is a nonce. And he is a nonce who should be kept away from children and locked up. Because clearly he is a depraved, uh, a dirty old man. So there we go. I don't know what else is going to convince you. And while you harbour such uh, intense, fierce loyalty towards this person, I don't know, I don't get it. But there we go, that's between you and your conscience, isn't it? The rest of us... Uh, have clocked this guy for what he really is. And there we go. That's my video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.